Good morning, kitty. You're up to no good. Uh, you already got breakfast. You're screwing up the wood. Is that how you keep your claws sharp? Huh? Is that how you keep your claws sharp? Hmm? Oh, come on. Now you don't gotta go showing off. <laughs> yeah. Well, hi, kitty. Well, so I'm gonna, I'm making the right decision today and throw in the, uh, knee boots on so that I don't have to deal with cuts and wet feet and stuff like that. So, and I'm getting a later start than normal because he wants to move cows and Eh, I just got told not to come in till 7, but I'm up anyway, so why not get with the day? Screw it. I'd rather be early than late. Oh, one thing I noticed that helps is keeping uh, your pant legs inside the boots, so that way they don't get all crapped up and stuff. I think that's the bull right there. I'm gonna sneak out around real quick and go shut the gates. And the pigs are doing good too. All nice and happy. Even though I just remembered that I cleaned the manure up, there's still that chance that you walk in a cow pie or something and get it all over you. Oh, come on, don't go out to pasture. Crap. Don't go out to pasture and don't drop the GoPro in the manure. Okay, what happened here? We're putting that there. Hmm. Oh, I see it's coming loose. Oh, crap. Gosh darn gates. Oh, come on, don't go out to pasture. I swing that gate shut and find out there's no bull in here. I'm gonna be mad. Not mad, upset. Because that's what Dad said to do. Get the bull and pin him up. Okay, now to go find the bull. Crap. I'm gonna be mad if there ain't no bull in here. Yeah, gosh darn it. No bull. Great. Well, they got hay. I don't, I don't get it. Oh. Well, so he's gonna come over in a minute. We're gonna figure this out. Unless that's the bull on the back side of the, the rack. You in here, bully? Oh yeah, it's good, good. There you are. Okay, that's good. It's exactly what we wanted. Oh, but we just wanted the bull, no cows. Oh well. So the bad thing about corn fodder is it don't absorb all the the manure and the poop and pee and all that like straw does. You gotta bet it more often. Okay, now I got hay put in for him. I'm going to uh, just go down here by the hoe and go in that way and wait for him. This is exactly what I bought this machine for. I'm going out in the pastures and trying to get the cows to come up and this is exactly what I bought this machine for and exactly what John Deere advertises on their brochures that these things are used for getting cows and stuff like that 
hauling hay and feed and whatever else. <laughs> All I gotta do is just see me. They don't even know I, that I have any hay in the bed for them. Low range. Come on, cows. Let's go. Come on. Come on. And I gotta be careful, too, that there's no hidden stumps or anything in here. Come on, cows. I don't know if you guys seen it, but I seen it. It was, um... The ones that were poking a long way back there were the two heifers. And... Once the cows seen them, they all bolted out of the, the barn. So now I gotta go get some buckets of feed. We're gonna try and get them that way. At 38 mile an hour. Well, job well done. Bull and a, it's all moved around and stuff. Yeah, I highly doubt that picking corn's gonna happen today. It's just too cloudy and you too yicky out. This gator is really coming so darn handy. <laughs> now to go finish up what we started the other day, cleaning that pee out of the feeder. So we got this Craftsman. Uh, it's a six horsepower sucking leaf blower, or leaf blower. <sighs> Shop back, 170 mile per hour is the blowing speed. You can uh, do this thing both ways. Um, the blower is back here. And it's a wet dry vac for stuff like this. So I got to put this pin back in here to make this gate swing the other way. So I'm not trying to fight the the suction line, the hose. This thing will definitely do the job. That's what I should have done to begin with, but eh, we don't really want to hurt the thing more than we have to. Then we get to try and get some feed to come down with this hook. All it is is just a uh, hoe handle or a hoe that we cut the end of a, the hoe blade off, made a hook, and then we just take it and poke down. Well, you guys can't see that, but I can. And poke down and make feed come out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something that, nah, I don't really, oh yeah, it's all plugged up. You got to be kidding me. Now, I guess there's only one thing to do is keep pulling it out, taking the hook and pecking away at it, but, my, my fingers can only reach up so far. Which makes things... Oh, good grief, that's really plugged up. Which makes things even more interesting. Tack on. It's been in there for a while. Grr. There. I've just showed you guys that I'm capable of doing what nobody else wants to do in the world, and that is get dirty. So, hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Who else, who else goes from playing in a pig crap to eating a piece of pizza right away? Mm hmm. I do. Don't worry. I rinsed my hand off before I touched the pizza.